Welcome everyone, welcome to Code Cloud's Keeping Up with AWS series. I am Michael Forrester. I'm here to zip you through the hottest AWS updates of March, 2024. Let's get ready, because there's gonna be a groundbreaking Cloud Trails summarization tool, some CLI mastery in EKS, some CDK starter insights, some real-time EKS monitoring using a chatbot, some case studies, Terraform integrations, and some can't miss Twitch shows on generative AI and platform engineering. All of this just packed in like a few little minutes. PDFs down below as usual, so you can get access to our original links. If you love what we're doing, let us know. Otherwise, stay tuned. Let's dive in. All right. Okay, here we are. It's March. We're keeping up. Let's take a look. Okay, so first and like arguably the most important, what if you needed to figure out who was doing what in your account? What would you do? I mean, you know, it doesn't matter if it's AWS, Azure, or Google. The idea is the same. It's another system. You got to track what's going on. You got to figure out what's happening. This is what this first tool is all about. This is summarizing your AWS CloudTrail account activity. So if we take a look at the web page that supports this, right, what we're going to see here is we're going to see the AWS summarized account activity. This is a Git repo. This is under the AGPL 3.0 license. License, you can dive in here and actually summarize in JSON output. It can also be visualized to PNG files, your recently active calls against IAM. This includes roles, you know, uh, users. What's going on inside your account? That's what you really, this is what this answers, okay? That's number one. Number two. All right, number two is what if there you want to do all of the creative ways in which you could connect to an AKS cluster. This is actually part two of a series of posts by a gentleman named Anton Weiss, also affectionately known as Ant, right? About how to connect and interact with EKS clusters. So this particular post is all about the CLI and the Elastic Kubernetes service. So if we go and take a look at this, nine ways to an EKS cluster, right? So this is on dev.2. And so way one was about how to use the management console for this. Way two is all about how to use the CLI. And so this is going to walk you through ways in which you can use CLI version two to connect with your EKS cluster. All right, that's number two. Number three, what if you wanted to get started with the CDK, but you didn't understand how configurations functioned, you need to know your CD processes, you didn't know environments, you didn't know like exactly how to set this up. This is where the CDK starter kit, this is where this comes in. So the AWS starter kit, which is what that link links to, has configuration, multiple environment variables, how to use GitHub Actions. It also includes a lot of other aspects of AWS in there. So if you're wanting to know how to get started with the CDK, which is the cloud development kit, which is kind of a great code way, not Terraform, code, Python, TypeScript, that kind of Java, to write out your infrastructure in AWS, this is the starter kit to check out. This is a full tutorial end to end, so take a look at it. That's number three. Number four, what if you wanted to interact with your EKS workloads, meaning the workloads like the pods, what do I mean by workloads? Let's see, all the stuff that runs inside of a Kubernetes cluster, right? That would be your deployments, your stateful sets, your jobs, all that stuff, right? What if you wanted to monitor that using a chatbot of some type? Now, this particular number four actually teaches you how to use AWS chatbot to hook into MS Teams to monitor what's going on with your EKS workloads in near real time. Now, if we take a look at this one, this is basically an AWS blog that talks about how you can actually create an interactive agent that works with Teams, that works with Slack, that works with Chime. You might be saying to Michael, what is Chime? Chime is AWS's hook in for, it's their video conferencing tool. Yeah, let's just leave that alone. Okay, this uses AWS distro for open telemetry, the ADOT thing, which is awesome. And this goes through the architecture, goes through all the prerequisites, you know, having an EKS cluster, all these pieces. A great tool if you wanna learn how to do chat ops with your EKS workloads. That's number four. Number five, we've talked about Carpenter in the past as being one of the best cluster autoscalers that's available. Carpenter is open source, but honestly, it's primarily focused on AWS. I don't know that Azure and Google have picked this up, not that I'm aware of. So here, we've got a case study that talks about a particular company named Grover and how they were able to save a tremendous amount of money by using Carpenter to implement spot instances for their EKS workloads. So if we look at this in detail, this is an AWS blog post about how they they used Carpenter to achieve this. So again, number five. Number six, okay, this is a tutorial about how to navigate EKS with Terraform. And you might say, but 
Michael, how do you use Terraform? But do you know all of the ins and outs of actually doing that with Terraform as the provisioner? Not EKS CTL, not some kind of cloud formation hook in, not the CDK, but do you know how Terraform, how to fully provision all the add-ons, the plugins, the audit logs, everything that EKS has inside of it? Do you know how to do that? Well, that's what this blog solves. So this is a tutorial, how to navigate Terraform and understanding EKS cluster information. And so it's gonna basically show you how to navigate this code base of TF files and how to use that to implement the various aspects of EKS. Very useful if you've never done this because we use Terraform for a lot of things, but sometimes getting into second or third order structures inside of the AWS services, like complex pieces of AWS services, sometimes that's tough. Okay, that's number six. Number seven and number eight are almost the same thing. So we're gonna talk about this for just a second. So number seven and number eight are basically Twitch shows that are available on the AWS Twitch channel. Now, I want you to consider adding rituals to strengthen your DevOps skills, to strengthen your generative AI skills, but mainly it's DevOps that I'm interested in. So both of these links actually lead to a very similar page, which I'm gonna to switch to so you can see it. That page looks like, this. And notice there's a podcast going on in the background, even as I'm looking at it. But here we've got one link for platform engineering, right? And by the way, they talk about platform engineering fairly consistently, right? Platform engineering, by the way, is the ability to create paved roads or internal developer platforms that are very easily usable by developers to deploy into production. They're usually maintained by some kind of DevOps engineering team that offers it as a service. So it's spectacular. So this is kind of the last piece to that. So the idea here here is to give you access to the Twitch shows. Now, one thing to notice is that we have all our sources listed at the bottom per usual. And notice that we've now qualified what you're looking at. Is it a code tool? Is it just a post? Is it more code? Is it a tutorial? Is it a case study? So we're trying to add more qualifiers so you can know exactly what these links are gonna take you to. I'm Michael Forrester. I trust that that was useful. Is it, if it wasn't, please let me know in the comments below. And if there's something you'd like to see, please subscribe, hit that like button, and let us know if there's something more you'd like for us to dive into. We'll catch you next month in April, signing off.